This is the eight part Bob verification. This system will set you up for success every time. Once the hair is dried, blow dried, smooth and clean, we can see the basic outline. The first step is to have your guest sit tall in the chair, look straight forward, and we're gonna check to see if everything is equal. I like to get eye level with the hair when I do this. All right. Step one is to follow through with your basic outline, making sure it's balanced and equal on both sides. My clippers are now upside down so that I can graze the basic outline of her hair. I'm going to spin you. Check it. Spin you again. The absolute must when it comes to clippers is that you turn them off when you are combing and sectioning the hair just in case. Do not turn them on. You will make mistakes. Like that. <laughs> so I'll comb, place the hair, let it fall naturally, and then start my clipper work. Step one. Step two, have your guests look directly to the floor, comb through the hair, and check for graduation at the back of the neck along the basic outline. While your guest is looking down, step three, have them look down and turn to the left or right. The turtle is louder than Tracy was. Checking for graduation. And then step four. Step four, have them look down and the opposite direction from step three. Here I go. You can, you can really see the graduation here and it's not a clean line. So I can take my clippers right to the skin. Step five is to have the guests tilt their ear away from you. Comb the hair down. And once again, look for any hair that is sitting beyond the basic outline of the haircut. Move to the opposite side and ask the guests to move their ear away from you once again. Watch that their chin is parallel with the floor instead of looking down or up. Thank you. It's really clean already. Beautiful. So step seven in the bob verification is a really minute detail that I think is valuable for everybody. If there is no framing in the front, you definitely want to remember step seven and eight, which is to tuck the hair behind the ear completely and check to see if there's any crazy long hairs moving forward right there. It's up to you how you execute getting rid of that hair. I'm going to take a blunt shear, come from the top, and just cut those one or two hairs that move forward. You can now see that it's just a clean, crisp line behind the ear. Let me look. Beautiful. Step eight and the final step of our bob verification is to tuck the hair behind the opposite ear. Once again, it's unnecessary for me to turn that way, but I did. Checking for Nothing.
Hi, Megan. How do you feel? Beautiful. It's so cute. The rest is up to you. This is your Bob basic outline. It's gonna get you a very successful clean haircut every time. You are more than welcome to layer as necessary or play with the shape in the front. There's a lot of variation that you can create with this haircut, but you do get a nice, clean, blunt basic outline, which is what we're always looking for. I hope you enjoyed this video, right? Yeah, did you? Okay. I hope that you hairstylists gained a bit of education. It's really, really exciting for me to start to share what I know with everybody. So please subscribe to the channel, follow our Instagram. Um, there's a link below. Be my friend. Come get a haircut. Be my model. I don't know. Come get a.